And you might like to just start to just sway a little side to side. Just use your heels to massage into your glute muscles if you can. Always nice to use the body. And if you prefer, if your body will allow it, many bodies won't, but you might bring your tailbone or your sit bones down to the ground. Just have a little play with your own body. All right, we're going to start in our kind of 90-90 or zigzag shape where we have one hip rotated externally and one hip rotated internally. And if you have any issues on your knee, just bring that foot back into the body so we're not putting any pressure on our knee joint. And we'll just start as tall as we can, take a breath, and just walk the hands past the externally rotated knee and we're just adding a little twist, getting deep into our lumbar spine, and then walk the hands all the way to the other side. Spine stays as straight as you can manage. Let's do that one more time each way. And we'll bring our legs up and take them to the other side. So take the hands behind, just let your body start to feel into the movement, coming up as tall as we can again. And if you feel like you can, you might stop touching the ground altogether, a little bit more work through the hips. You might be moving along the ground, that's okay. If you want to get your hands totally out of the way, take them across the chest. And we're going to end up where we started, same side. And we'll come up tall again. All right, this time turn and rotate your body so you're facing towards the bent knee and just fold down forward. Let your body sink down, lifting up. One more time. And if your opposite hip joint is really struggling, just come and take your hands behind and we'll open out again side to side. All right, let's come on to the other side. So opening the knees, spine straight again. Take your hands behind the body, spine as tall as you can manage. And then all the way around. Try and keep your chin in line with the chest if you can. But any pressure on that knee joint, just draw the foot in. Be kind to your body. Don't want any pressure on our knees. Maybe one more each way. And then just like we did before, let's fold forward. So turn at your hips, taking the chest down towards the knee. Maybe you've got more movement on this side, maybe less, just notice. And one more time. And then just like we did on the other side, let's do that movement where we use our body to turn. Might feel very awkward at the start. You can use your hands if you need to. If you can bring them to the body, bring them to the body. Our joints get stiff and sore and hold a lot of tension in the body. So all these movements just help lubricate the joints a little more. Maybe one more each way. And we'll 
come back and just let the hips open out. All right, let's spread our legs wide as they want to go. Might not look anything like me, that's okay. And walk the hands up and we'll take a breath. And then when you're ready, just, just take the hands forward. Keep the back as straight as you can. Big sigh. And then you might like to curl the toes in. And then we'll walk the hands back. And this time just rolling behind. Keep the heels on the ground if you can. We'll come back up tall. Rolling forward. Might have very strong sensation in your hips, that's okay. Coming up tall and rolling back. All right, let's bring legs together again, opening out. We'll start with one knee bent, either side is fine, other leg forward. See if you can pull a bit of flesh away from sit bones. And this time we're just gonna roll our elbow in front of the knee. And you might like to roll this top shoulder back. And just let your body ease into it. Strong feeling through the back and the side of the body. And then we're going to come up tall, take our hand behind, reach our other hand over, lift the tailbone up. And just create a big, long, straight line through the body, as straight as you can manage. And then dropping the tailbone down, we'll do the same again, rolling the elbow down, rolling the shoulder back. This time you might like to reach over. Big sigh. And then reaching up, lifting all the way over. And we'll come back down. Take and rotate your hips all the way so you can bring your nose towards your knee again. Doesn't matter how close it gets. Tail those toes in, big sigh. And then we'll take this straight leg behind the body and just roll onto our belly. You might come onto your elbows and see if you can just juice up that hip that's just above the heel. You might do this just by rolling your body over. Bit like you're wagging the tail. And then when you're ready, we'll come back, swing that leg all the way forward, and we'll bring both legs opening up. Let's switch to the other side. So we're going to bring foot into thigh, curl the toes in, and maybe a bit of flesh away from sit bones, tall as we can manage. All right, let's take our elbow down in front of the knee, roll this top shoulder back. And we'll take the hand to the floor behind the body, reaching up, lifting tailbone. Stretch, reach as far as you can. And tailbone comes down. Same again, elbow down. This time maybe reaching over. Then we'll come up tall. And 
as you come down this time, turn the hips. We're going to bring our nose towards the knee. Big seat, deep sigh. And as you slowly come up, let's swing that leg behind. Just like we did on the other side, tuck your heel in and just roll over that heel a little bit. Just bring a little bit of more energy to the hip joint. A little bit of wagging the tail. When you're ready, we're going to pull that knee up and then we'll just come into all fours. Maybe keeping that wagging the tail motion going. Let's take our knees together, feet together, hands underneath the shoulders, and just take the feet to one side, maybe look and see the feet, and then to the other. So we're inviting in that kind of spiraling motion through our spine. All right, let's take one step. We'll take our right foot forward outside the hands. Maybe left leg can go a little further back. And same kind of just spiraling motion through the hip joint. Take a little bit of a figure eight. You might even like to just create a little bit more width. Just bring the hand up and open through. And we're going to draw that leg so that it straightens out. Probably won't get totally straight. You might walk your hands back a little bit, curl the toes in. So you feel that strong sensation down the back of the leg. And then we'll bring the foot flat. And then one more time, rolling back, stepping back. Leaning back and then walking the hands. All right, let's swing that leg behind. We're going to take some circles. Both directions. And then we'll come onto one hand. So rolling onto a kind of side plank. We're going to lift that leg up. Keep breathing. And when you're ready, let's roll back onto all fours. And whenever you're ready, step the other foot forward. Roll the right leg back. Notice your range of movement on this side. It might not be the same. When you're ready, let's walk the hands back, straighten that leg. Keep going, find your own flow with your breath. You might like to create a little bit of width. Walking the hands back one last time. And coming back. Let's take our side plank on this side. We'll take some circles first. Mm 
and then extending the leg, float the arm up. You might bring it to the hip. You can take it straight up if you like. And one more. All right, we're going to step this foot back, same leg, and then drop our tailbone towards the heel, turning our other leg up. <laughs> I hope that made sense. And once you're there, just take a little rest, take a moment. All right, we're going to walk the hands down, switch our tailbone to the other heel, turning the toes up. And you might like to make this a little more dynamic. Hips have more mobility now. Let's explore them. Let's do maybe one more each direction. And we will come all the way down to our back. Take your time. We're staying in the hips. Let's take one foot over the opposite knee. Either side is fine. And without doing anything with our upper body, just lift the legs off the ground. So you want to keep your spine flat to the floor. As your legs come up, keep breathing. See if you can notice if you're creating any tension in your shoulders, in between your shoulder blades, in your jaw. Just let it all go. Upper body is relaxed. We want to use our core abdominal muscles. Upper body can just be heavy. When you're ready, untangle the legs. You might like to keep them off the ground if you want a little extra challenge, just any direction you like, spine stays heavy. And then when you're ready, we go to the other side, knee across or foot across the knee, upper body relaxed. Keep breathing. And when you're ready, just like before, any kind of movement you like, just explore, notice where your body might still be holding a little bit of tension. Let's bring hands to either knees or shins or feet. Let's see if you can keep that head heavy to the floor. So you might just get to ankles or shins and take our happy baby. And we're going to take a little bit of a rock and roll to come up. So you might like to bring the feet together, knees wide, heels towards the tailbone. Use a little bit of momentum to roll onto your shoulders and then all the way up and just let your spine have a little massage. And assuming you have enough room to be able to keep rolling, you might do a little bit of an experimental roll. You need a little bit of soft ground. All right, let's see if we can do a 180 degree roll. So we're gonna look over our shoulder and just roll down and take, let the momentum take us all the way over eventually. So key thing is to look over your shoulder first and then just let the momentum roll you back out. Let's 
try that again. And if your hips are not letting you come all the way up, you might like to reach one of the feet out to give you a little more momentum. And if your body didn't allow that at all, that's okay too. <laughs> all right, let's take our legs out front. Okay, all the toes in, arms out wide, take a breath. As we sigh out, reach across. Do one more on this side. Let's, while we're sitting, let's take our legs wide. Same type of movement, this time across the body. We're opening through our hips. Do one more each side. And we'll come all the way down onto our ground again. And just drawing the knees into the chest, maybe a little wobble side to side. Let's bring foot back over the knee, extend the arms wide this time. We're going to take a little supine twist. You might like to lift the hips a little to one direction and then drop the knees to the other. Use deep side to get you a little bit deeper. You might even turn your chin to look away from the knees. Stay here for a few breaths, just sinking into it. And then we'll roll back, untangle the legs. Same on the other side. Foot over knee, lift the feet off the ground, lift the hip a little, just to give you the momentum to open and sigh out, maybe turning the chin. And we'll roll all the way back up. Let's take our feet to the ground. We'll take our arms overhead. Might take a few little angel wings. We'll extend the arms down by the side of the body. Let our head, neck, and shoulders follow. Inhale, lifting the arms above the head. Exhaling, curling up. Take your time. Head stays heavy. Next time we take our arms up above the head, let's reach them towards the ceiling. We're going to see if we can come up all the way, press into the body, press into the feet, draw the knees together, come up tall, and we'll roll over our knees. Come right back to where we started. Just let your heart rate slow for a moment. And 
And when you're ready, hands together, palms together. As we always do, let's just acknowledge our choice to practice. And then with gratitude, bow to each other. <laughs>